All right, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mohavaka, Kwadash, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and that are also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I would like to say, Tawadi Yahawah, Tawadi Yahawah, Yahweh Shai, Tawadi Yahawah, Tawadi Yahawah, Yahweh Shai. All right. Another lesson. And we're just going to go into Ecclesiasticus chapter 3, actually 6. So I'm going to jump straight to verse 18. It says, My son, right? My son, gather instruction from thy youth up. So we got to gather this instruction. And it says, from thy youth up. You have brothers that come in at different times. But if you came to this tree from an early age, well, guess what? You're gathering, you're still gathering wisdom. So gather up this truth, all right? From thy youth up, from a young age, until you're older. And yes, it's going to do you well. Okay? So shall I find wisdom till the old age. So we want to also retain this. Okay? Verse 19. Come unto her as one that ploweth. When you're ploughing, what are you doing? You're digging in that soil. This is labour. One might say, oh, well, what, what's that? Is that easy to do? No, it's not. No, it's not. Because you may have a lot of people that may say, well, um, I could do that. No, no, you couldn't. Because if you could, you would be doing it. Okay? If you could, you would be doing it. Right? Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth and wait for her good fruits. All right? So this takes time. And the scriptures talk about sowing in Corinthians. He that soweth bountifully shall also what? Reap bountifully. He that soweth sparing shall, sparingly shall reap sparingly. Right? So it's all according how you're sowing. Right? You get in what you put out. You, you get in what you put out. Right? And wait for her good fruits. So that's what we got to do. Wait for them good fruits. Right? And them good fruits, fruit takes time. Fruit don't just come out overnight. Fruit takes time to produce. Okay? So within this truth, yeah, we produce, but yeah, it takes time. You don't see the fruit overnight, do you? First is the seeds. And you don't even see the seed. The seed blossoms, goes into a stem. The stem branches off onto other stems. Then it starts to what? As a plant. Then that plant's turned into what? A fruit. Then you see your fruit. This takes time. It's not overnight. And wait for her good fruits. For thou shalt not toil much in labouring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. Alright? In due time, you were going to eat of those fruits. In due time. Right? Right soon. Okay? She is very unpleasant. Okay? To the unlearned. This is what we need to pay attention to. Scripture, she is very unpleasant. Very. And when we're talking about she, what's she referring to? She is referring to Sophia. Um, what's short for Sophia? That's where you get the word philosophy. Sophia. Sophia. Lover of wisdom. Right? For she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. So, someone that's unlearned, that's not willing to grow, is going to be very unpleasant. Right? To the unlearned, he that is without understanding will not remain with her. So an individual that doesn't want to really learn this word, they were going to be without understanding. Even learning is a process. Okay. Verse 21, she will lie upon him, right? As a mighty stone of trial. Right? Trial. And what did we go through in this truth? Scripture says in Peter's, the fiery trial. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. What we're going through now is a trial. Okay. And he will cast her from it. It be long. Men get fed up. Oh, no, this is too long. I want it. No, 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 no. This is not a microwave meal, my man. This is not a microwave meal. 
right? You have to go through stuff first. You have to go through them trials, right? Therefore, you can be deemed as acceptable, right? Verse 22, for wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. All right, so wisdom, you know, it's not manifest, it's not known unto many, right? Give her my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. So we don't want to refuse the counsel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because we're giving counsel. What's the counsel? These scriptures. And we also have counsel of what men, right? That's also another counsel, the elders, and so forth. That's another counsel. Okay, go to Proverbs 2, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Quickly go to Proverbs 2. And I want to say this as well. This is true education. What they teach you in your public full systems is a load of rubbish. This is real education. Alright, the scriptures. Everything you need to know, everything you need to learn. It's, it's, it's in these scriptures. Everything, pretty much. Let's go to Proverbs 2. My son, if thou will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so it's about, yes, receiving the words, not just being a hearer, but also a doer. It says, receive my words. So we got to receive these words with what? Humbleness and, yes, humility, meekness and fear. Hide my commandments with thee. Verse 2, so that, that incline the air unto wisdom, right? And applying the heart to understanding, right? So that's also, that's what we got to do. Apply our heart to understanding. Apply our mind to understanding. Okay? Yeah, if thou criest after knowledge and lifteth up thy voice for understanding, so you cry for it, you're praying for it, right? And lifted up that voice for understanding. Right? If thou seekest her as silver and searchest her for her as treasure. Excuse me just a minute. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures. So that's what we gotta do. Seek her. Right? That's like you're seeking for hid treasure. Alright? Completely. Okay. Seek her out. Okay. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord when you're seeking. Okay? And find the knowledge, right? Key thing. And find the knowledge of the Most High. Man, and a lot of these women ain't feminine, man. You know? A lot of these women ain't feminine, even though we talk about Sophia. Right? So, yeah, wisdom is likened unto a woman. But a lot of these women today, they're not feminine. They're, they're like men. Right? You can hear them from a mile away. <laughs> okay? But it's alright, maybe just a minute. For the Lord giveth wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right? He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. So if you apply these words, what? You're going to be what? Looked after in that time of Jacob's trouble. Right? On a large scale. So now we went to that Baba Kashar. Let's go back to the Apocrypha. Okay. And yes, the Apocrypha is a part of the Bible, by the way. Go back to Ecclesiastes 6. And where was we? Where was we? 22. For wisdom is according to her name. She is not manifest unto many. Give air, my son. Right? Be attentive. Receive my advice and refuse not my counsel. This is the best counsel you can receive. The best counsel. Right? Refuse not my counsel and put thy feet into her fetters. What's fetters? Fetters is a chain for your feet. Right? That's what fetters are. Right? Chains for your feet. Okay? And thy neck into her chain. Right? So, when you think of fetters, when you think of chain, what do you think about? Bondage. So, we got to be what? In bondage to what? Wisdom. When you think about wisdom, that's what you want to be a bondage to what? Wisdom, right? Rather than being in bondage to this world, right? What would you rather? Hmm? Come unto her with the whole heart. Excuse me just a minute, I'm moving too fast. 
Verse 25, bow down her shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. Key thing, be not grieved with her bonds. So we don't want to be grieved with the bonds of wisdom at all. Okay. Come unto her with the whole heart and keep her ways with all that power. Go to Psalms 119 and 2. Just come unto her with the whole heart. Psalms 19 and 2. 119 and 2. All right. Come on now. Psalms 119 and 2. Check this out, check this out. This is Psalms 119. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord Yahweh Abishai. So we want to walk in that law of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies. So we want to keep the Lord's testimonies. What's his testimonies? His words, his precepts. And that seek him with. The whole heart. So we want to seek Yahweh with a whole heart. Everything we want to put into this truth. Everything. Whole heart. Not 50%. Not 70%. Not even 85 Not even 95 The whole heart. 100% we want to give into this truth. That's how we want to seek him. Anything, anything less than that would be uncivilized. Okay. Come on now. And they also do, do no iniquity. They keep his ways and has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently so that's what we're going to do also keep them precepts diligently right in all our ways okay come on now i hope this is edifying because that's what i'm here to do edify the elect let's go to ecclesiasticus chapter six and jump straight to verse where was i where was i where was i verse 26 come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all that power. Right? So once you've attained wisdom, now you've got to keep her. Now you've got to keep her. It's one thing knowing, but it's another thing to keep with wisdom. Okay. Hey, bro. Hey, these people, these people are like cyborgs, man. You look at these people. These people, they're stuck in the matrix. But this is what we're trying, we're trying to get you out of that. Right, and this is what the spiritual demon Satan doesn't want. He doesn't want our people to be awoke. He doesn't want our people to be awoke. All I'm seeing, all I'm seeing is nothing but zombies walking about. Right? But the only way to get you out of that is out of that state is through these words. But the elect are gonna hear this word, the elect are gonna receive it and come out of that state. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Check this out. It says, Bow down her shoulder and bear her, be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with the whole heart, keep her away. Search and seek, and shall she be named. She, she, it's like it. Search and seek. Search and seek. And she shall be made known unto thee. So if you're searching and you're seeking, of course, it's going to be made known. Right? It's going to be made known. But you have to search first. Okay. And she shall be made known unto thee. And when it has got her, let her not go. You know what that sounds like? I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use the words. I'm not going to use the word. It says, hold on. It says, it says, and when it has got hold of her, let, no, let her not go. You know what that sounds like? What's that? R-A-P-E. I'll spell it out for you. Right? You even got people there offended at even that law. If you find a woman that's not profoth and you can take her, there's laws on everything. A lot of people say, oh, that's rape. Oh, grow up. You better grow up in your mind. There's laws on everything. But it's just the laws of ancient. A lot of people get offended at the laws of ancient. Oh, no, that's that's a bit too much. No, they, they've, it's always been here, that law. It's just that things have changed over time. That's all. <laughs> that's all. The law still remain the same. Yahweh said, I came not to do away with the law, but to fulfill the law. And Yahweh was that fulfillment of that law. Okay. So I quickly want to go into that as well. Let's say from going to Matthew 6 when it says, Search and you shall find. Come on, I'm just flaring with the spirit. Alright. I'm not falling for this rubbish. Right? It's, this is the matrix. A world that's designed to keep you lost, right? To keep you confused. 
All right. All these, your bro. I want to say this. Your Jedi, Isa, 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 Isa. You have to do better than that. You have to do better than that, right? Your Jedi mind tricks ain't working, right? There's a lot of people that think they have persuasion skills, dark persuasive skills, right? Excuse me, just a minute. Let's go to Ma Mark. Actually, Matthews. Jump straight to verse Matthew seven and seven. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek. So that's what we got to do. Seek. And you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Right? So you gotta seek. Knock and it shall be opened to you. What? The door of what? Wisdom. Right? It says it will be opened unto you. Okay? For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. Right? And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. So again, you just got to knock on that door and Yahweh will open it to you. But are you willing to knock? Are you just standing at the door? Well, nobody's going to answer the door if you don't knock. Go, to, go back to Ecclesiastes 6 and jump straight to verse 27. So we went to that. 28. For at the last thou shalt find her rest and thou shalt be turned to joy. At the last. At the last. That's after. Right? There's rest in wisdom. Verse 29. Thou shalt what? Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee. Right? What's them fetters? Them chains that, that discipline. The fetters also represent discipline. Right? And it says, and her chains a robe of glory. So you could put this wisdom on. For there is a gold, golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Right? A golden ornament, and her bands are purple, purple lace. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Verse 31 Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, and shall put her about as thee as a crown of joy. So, guess what? You're able to clothe yourself with what? This wisdom, this knowledge, and understanding. You're just able to make your wise right you're able to do that right <laughs> oh man all right, this is the all right, these people they're they're fully they're fully fully invested in the matrix man you know but it's like i said only a house i can wake them up right but a lot of these people they're going to remain asleep in that dead ass state right they even walk like zombies <laughs> and baby let's let's continue and it says this is verse 32 my son if thou wilt thou shalt be taught and if thou wilt apply thy mind thou shalt be prudent skillful witty wise in matters all right so that's how we want to be we want to be skillful prudent skillful witty and wise in matters so if you're wise in matters you you know why people do things as well right you can study people you can see people from a mile away you're able to sum them up you know them better than they know themselves right and the scripture says you don't follow a multitude to do evil but within this society what do you see you see a whole lot of people that follow multitudes to do evil right because they're none the wise right they've been deceived the scriptures tell you that the deceived and the deceiver are his right scriptures tell you that the deceived and the deceiver are his right people don't know what they're doing Right, some of them do know what they're doing, but a lot of it is just demons behind them, right, causing them to do these things. Okay, but they'll find out soon. They'll find out. Verse thirty-three: If thou love to hear, and like I said, bro, your persuade no persuasive skills are gonna work. Your persuasive skills are not going to work. I've been doing this for a little while now, right? See, when you understand the truth, you can't you cannot be bamboozled. No form of witchcraft will work. Now, it's the particular things you can do, like manipulation, get a person to be here at this time and manipulate this and manipulate that. But in terms of the elect being shifted out, the scripture says, no man shall be able to what, pluck them out of my hand. So that was not going to work, right? No form of color coding, no form of noise campaigns, right? None of those things were going to work. None, none of those things were going to actually separate the elect, okay? Verse 34, right? 
Verse 33, if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And the scriptures, be more willing to hear. All right? If thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou wilt love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. If thou wilt bow down thy air, thou shalt be wise. That's what you got to do. Bow down thy air. You bow down your air, guess what? You're going to be wise in these matters. All right? Stand in the multitude of thy elders And yes we have elders as well that have taught us That has raised us up in the way of knowledge, wisdom and understanding Right And cleave unto him that is wise So yes you have elders that are what Even Peter When there was particular issues concerning the law Who did he go to? He went to the elders in Jerusalem So yes you can still learn of particular elders Were, all the elder, were every single one of the elders wicked When we talk about the Pharisee, the chief priest No You had righteous you had righteous Pharisees, you had righteous elders, so again, everything can balance. But when a matter is too hard for you, who do you go to? You go to the elders. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. There's a bit more, there's a bit more. Verse 35, be willing, right? Key thing, be willing to hear every godly discourse. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. So you've got to be willing to hear every godly discourse in this truth. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Right? If thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him. So if you see a man of wisdom, you're supposed to join yourself unto him. And let that foot wear the steps of his door. So you're supposed to wear him out. Want to learn more. Let that man be upon the ordinance of the Lord Jehovah by Shem Yehovah Shai. And meditate, continue upon his commandments. That's what we're supposed to do. Meditate. Right? Upon Yahabashah's commandments. Right? <laughs> okay. And he shall establish thy heart. Right? Meditate means you're thinking upon. Thinking upon Yahabashah's commandments, his ways, his precepts. He shall establish thine heart. He's going to establish your mind. He's going to guide you in the ways of what more wisdom knowledge and understanding. He's going to what? Direct you. Right? And give thee wisdom at thy own desire. Right? See them demons. <laughs> them, de them demons in people. Uh-uh. See, the, the scripture says that even the demons fear and tremble. Right? <laughs> right anyway, maybe just a minute. So we went to that Baba Kasha. Did I go into everything? So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Attain unto wisdom. Let no, let her not go. Right? Ah, one more thing, one more thing. Let's go to James Baba Kasha. Actually, that's another lesson. That's another lesson. But Lord winning this was edifying. And until the next time, shadow arm to the hopeful elect. Shadow arm.